Hi, Russ Miller, Off-Grid Creationist here. I'm touching up the chain on my chainsaw. A good sharp chain makes cutting a whole lot easier and a whole lot safer as well. We cut about uh, four and a half cords of wood every year. We burn it in our heat return wood burning system inside the house. It's one of four heat systems that we have here. And I fill up my wood shed. It holds about four and a half cords. Now we have oak and juniper and pine here. We like to uh, uh, burn oak. It burns the longest and puts out the most heat uh, with juniper being next in line. But my friends, that's not what I wanted to talk about. NASA recently announced the discovery of seven Earth-like planets orbiting a star in distant space. They backed this up with some really nice drawings of these green and blue orbs representing planets that had water and plant growth on them. I got so many emails and messages asking me, Russ, what do you think of this? And I had the same answer to everybody. Step back and give it some time. Let the real science come out because real science is a believer's best friend. While NASA was trying to indicate there's nothing special about life on our planet, the real science shows that of these seven orbs, none of them are likely to be able to support any type of life. For instance, the three most likely to support life are tidally locked. In other words, they orbit their star with one side always facing their scorching sun and all of the cosmic rays pounding it day in and day out, while the other side is always facing outer space in total darkness and sub-freezing temperatures. These planets are nowhere near being like our planet Earth, which is a very special planet. It takes a very special planet to be able to support and sustain life. God gave us a very special place in his universe. You can put your trust in the word of God because if you take away NASA's blue and green magic markers, <laughs> they're left with nothing but once upon a time because a fairy tale is about to follow. And that's what I wanted to talk about. Hi, I'm the Off-Grid Creationist, Russ Miller. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope that you like it. Hey, if you did, uh, please uh, subscribe to us and share it with others. Uh, visit our website or uh, join us as a partner and support our efforts through the button below. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you again soon with our next video.